we are back here on Girl Talk. Harley has joined us, oh yes, and her owner too. <laughs> Kat Bailey is here from Cat's Dogs, LLC. We want to hear all about what you do. Well, Harley, we, okay, mom's going to have to talk for you. <laughs> <laughs> we do D-shed treatments, fur cut and styles, full wash services, whatever your pet needs, we take care of. I'll tell you what, Harley walked in with you, and it, you talk about statuesque couple coming yes. in. It's absolutely <laughs> Thank glorious. You. Talk to us a little bit of, uh, more about your business, how long you've been in business, where you are, and then you're going to talk about your cat anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been in business for two years. Okay. Um, I've been across the street from... Uh, Lowe's in the Burton Hill Center for one year and we are actually moving uh -huh. to uh, 20 Paris Island Gateway where it'll actually be a, a full pet resort. So we'll do boarding, we do all of the grooming needs and we'll have a, a full pet barkery, which will be a pet bakery a oh, pet with, a, <laughs> with a slobber Love bar. It. With a <laughs> slobber <laughs> bar. Yes, How did yes, you get into this? What a fun job. I actually started, um, I was a military dependent and I worked on uh, Iwakuni, Japan Marine Corps Air Station taking in and out uh, quarantine pets for military members. And that's when I really fell in love with it. So I came back to the States, I did my grooming internship, mm -hmm. and, um, and I, you know, you just have in mind that Harley. you can always you can always do it better, and that's what I aim to do for the people of Beaufort. Hey, baby. One of the, oh, she, he, she's fine. She wants to go see Mike. See, Mike, everybody <laughs> loves you. Exactly. Mike's our, our director and camera person, and, and now official, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Talk Harley. <laughs> um, but it's really interesting to me how someone chooses a career like that, because you said you absolutely love it. What mm -hmm. is it about the career that's so enticing? Um, I think it's just all the love that you can really put into giving an animal. Mm -hmm. um, and animals are very much a child to families now. Just look at you, you get emotional. I know, I do, I do. I do. Uh -huh. And they, um, they just deserve, I mean, they, they are such companions to us mm -hmm. and they, they deserve just as much love as, as anybody everyone. else. So, are we yeah. as pet parents? Mm -hmm for the most part, informed? Are we good parents? What are some things that you wish, that you see that you really, really wish people would know? Um, one thing is nutrition, and we okay. actually definitely um, are going to offer some dog foods at the new place mm -hmm. where we'll be able to educate because it's got such a huge impact on coat and skin. It really and, does. You huh? know, it's the same thing we say, we are what we eat. Well, our animals are too. Mm -hmm. So um, being able to supply that for them. Um, and then uh, before I did massage, I did massage therapy. So. Um, one thing is... Did you? He, yes, ma'am. Perfect segue to that. And I, <laughs> and I, I love being able to, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't see under the fur. We mm -hmm. do because we use the high velocity uh, blow dryers and uh, we comb through. So we see everything. Right. So being able to educate the pet owner on something that they might not be aware of, that they can bring to their vet is something monumental. What about tactile? What about touching and... and you know, petting your pet and all those. It's very much. Because you've got pets, John. You've got little, yep. you said you've got some bugs and pugs. Bugs oh, and yes. Bugs. They're <laughs> very much social creatures and they love to be touched. So that's something that being on our table, we are as graceful as possible with the animals. And it's very much their communication. So mm -hmm. letting a, a dog know where we are at times. I mean, that came especially from my massage therapy training. Um, oh. And... I'm that's, going to, so yeah. Weird. Being yeah. able to communicate with the dogs, a huge part, because that's the way you touch them is Well, that brings me, and I know we've only got about a minute, but sure. when, when we see a dog like Harley or a, a dog we're not familiar with, what is the correct protocol? How do you approach a dog so that you're not threatening? Very, I'm um, just... Open cautiously. Normally, you always stick your hand out to let them sniff your your okay. hand. Um, and that's what I like to teach all little kids when they come okay. into the yep. shop. Uh, you put your hand out first and let them sniff you. And then, if they interact well, then it's okay to pet them. So, is it interesting to see different personalities of different animals? Oh, it's great. I mean, every breed has their own personality, and then the individual dog has their 
own personality. So. And before we go real quickly, cats. cats tell tell yeah. me about grooming I do. Cats. I groom cats. We bathe them, clip their nails. We uh, And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, how do you do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My answer is very carefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, very carefully. We don't have to wear hazmat suits or anything <laughs> like that. But we know what we're doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to have you back again. You're actually, actually great. It's really interesting yes, to get all these questions thank answered. You. And we want to thank John especially for joining us here on Girl Talk today. You were a wonderful, wonderful guest. We want to thank all of you for joining us. Stay with us. We're going to go on a quick field trip. <laughs>